Hey everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead and today I am making refrigerator pickles. I've never done it. Um, I got a really good recipe from Shift Kicker. So, I'm going to cut up my pickle uh, cucumbers that I got from my greenhouse and from outside and we are going to make some refrigerator pickles. Um, it seems like a very easy recipe. It calls for seven cups of sliced cucumbers one cup of sliced onion, two cups of sugar, a cup of white vinegar, two teaspoons of salt, and a teaspoon of celery seed. So follow me along because I've never done it. I've never made any kind of pickles. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. All right, so I am peeling my cucumbers. I might have to go pick up a couple more, but we're going to peel them. I have some pickling, and this one is either a straight eight. I believe this is a straight eight. Uh, I'd have to go outside and look at my little marker, my little label, but I believe it's a straight eight. I can't remember. But we are going to try this. All right, we'll bring you back for the next step. All right, so I'm slicing them into circles. Problem is, I keep eating them. So, I have to see if I have any more cucumbers outside that are ready to go. And if not, I may have to have this recipe. Because sometimes I just keep eating them. Delish. All right, so I was able to find three more cucumbers that are ready to go, or kind of ready. So that's what we're going to have to use. So I'm just going to use what I have. The rest are a little small to be picking. We picked a ton. I've given some away. We've ate some. And the cat is meowing up a storm because he wants to go out because Sierra's out there. She's trying to spray paint her frames, picture frames. So I'll bring you back when these are all done. So it's about six cups, but there is no more that I can pick right now. So that's what I have. All right, so. I'm grabbing an onion from the bag of onions I got from Misfit Markets a while back because I still haven't used them. Oh, my eyes are tearing up. And I only was going to do one onion, so I wasn't pulling out my slicer and all that jazz. Whoo hoo, my eyes, my eyes. Oh, I'm going to be crying. Oh, goodness. I'm going to cut my finger off because I can't see. I'm crying. I'll be back. All right. So, we are going to add two cups of sugar. Forgive any noise. My my daughter has a friend over, and they're just coming in and out, in and out, in and out. So we're gonna do two cups of sugar. I'm gonna do not a little shy of two cups, and then one cup of white vinegar. This 
is distilled white vinegar. Two teaspoons of salt. So we'll get some salt. And my son is off buying a freezer today. He called me while I was on a live stream with Crazy and Trust. And he was asking what size freezer I had. This is one teaspoon of celery seed. And uh, he was buying another freezer. He has a small one, but he wanted a bigger one. So I'm, I'm noticing that slowly but surely he is stocking and doing prepping things. And he just bought an RV, a 28-foot pull-along one. And it's beautiful, beautiful. He got it for a steal, a steal. It's got bunk beds in it, and so it says mix well. So I'm gonna pour it in here so I can mix it up. And uh, yeah, he got himself a camper, and if things ever got bad and he had to bug out, he'd have his camper. But I see him little by little doing stocking things. So something that I'm saying is taking effect. You know, people have to do it in their own time and then in their own way. And he's doing it. He's getting another freezer, which is nice. So I'm just going to mix all this up. Get it all mixed. This was Ship Kickers. She sent me this recipe. I'm just going to keep getting it all mixed so that sugar dissolves. I would have preferred a glass bowl, but I don't have one big enough. So it says it's going to sit for six hours. So I'm going to put it in the fridge. It smells so good. Oh my. Mmm. <laughs> Sweet tasting, yum. Cat wants to go out. So I'm gonna push this down flat, as flat as I can. And I'll come in every couple hours and stir it. Chef kicker. Yum. All right, everybody, so I bought myself an avocado. I do that once in a while, but I like it only with sour cream on it. So I am going to whip up some sour cream for my Thrive Life. Because <clears throat> I don't need a whole lot, but I don't want to open up a brand new container or go buy one. So I'm going to take two tablespoons. Oh, you know what? I'll do three. And then I will get a little bit of water. A 
going to start with a little bit and I'm just going to keep adding until it's the consistency that I want. I had three tablespoons in here, but I'm just going to start with a little bit of it. And all you do is you stir it. And you keep stirring until it gets to where you want it. I do stick mine in the fridge to get cold, so you have to consider it hardening up as well. So I always add a little bit more liquid. Just make it a little bit, you know. Oh, I love avocado with my uh, sour cream on it. See, that's perfect. I might just add a little bit more. I'm going to add two more tablespoons. Girls gave up on that painting, and now they're in the pool, and now see, I'm already getting out of the pool. So I'm going to stick this into the fridge to get cool and firm up a little bit so I can spackle it on my avocado. All right, so here is the batch of refrigerator pickles that I got from Shift Kicker, and they are delicious. Oh my God, you guys have to try these. They are so yummy. Thanks, Shift Kicker. All right, I cut up my avocado, and there is my sour cream. I love sour cream on avocado. Look at that. I just love it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I used all my sour cream that was in this bowl and no mess, no waste. I had just enough for my avocado and I don't have any more and that's getting wasted. That's why I love the Thrive Life sour cream powder. Go get you guys some.